Easter holiday is about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. When you talk about Easter holiday, it's all about the fact that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Jesus was buried for three days. For three days, he was in that grave. But on the third day, he came back to life. He came back to life. It's a historical fact recorded by those that loved him and those that hated him. It's a historical record. Now, I know sometimes culture, God bless you, sir. God bless you. culture um, takes away a little bit of meaning of things. But on, on the day of Passover, right, the children of Israel were told to apply blood on the door, on the doorpost of the houses. The blood was supposed to be a, a symbol or a signal or a token so that when the angel of death is passing by, he passes over that house with the blood smeared on the doorposts. Okay? Any house that didn't have the blood of a lamb on their doorposts, the firstborn died. Easter is a time to acknowledge that the blood of Jesus Christ was shed for your family. Easter is a time to acknowledge the fact that Jesus rose from the dead. You see, family problems go all the way to the family, to the first family. Family problems didn't just start with your family. Started with the first family. God made Adam and Eve, He put them in the Garden of Eden, and they were supposed to start the human family. There was no pain in the Garden of Eden, no kind of pain whatsoever. There was no sorrow in the Garden of Eden, no kind of sorrow whatsoever. There was no grief in the Garden of Eden, any kind of grief whatsoever. There was no hatred, there was no violence. It was perfect. It was perfect. It was so perfect because the first, because the because mankind and humanity was created in the image of God. The reason why we want the best for our kids is because God wants the best for you. The reason why we want the best for our kids is because we're made in the image of God. The reason why we yearn for love is because God is love. The reason why we feel uncomfortable in the dark is because God is the light. The reason why we carry sanitizers and face masks and all of that preserving our lives, we love our lives, and it's because God is life. You see? So, 
It was perfect in the Garden of Eden until Satan showed up. When Satan showed up, he tricked the first family into joining his side. When Satan showed up in the Garden of Eden, he manipulated and lied and deceived the first family into going to his side. God said to Adam, any tree in the Garden of Eden you can eat, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, don't eat it. In the day you eat it, you will surely die. Satan comes in, he deceives Eve, Adam and Eve, and before you know it, they have rebelled against the love of God, and before you know it, they are on the enemy's side. So, by that act of sin came death. Because when God said you shall surely die, he meant it. You were in Adam when God said that. Every single one of us are from Adam. Every single one of us. That's when family problems really began. You're not the first to go through family problems. Your family is not the first to go through trauma and drama. Every single one of us, we all have our family problems. And do you know why there are family problems? Because the family of Adam had problems. You were in the family of Adam when family problems came to the family of Adam. You might have a, an African surname like myself, but really the surname is Adam because you're a son of Adam. You might have an English surname, but you come from Adam. Therefore, your surname is Adam. You might have an Asian surname or a Chinese surname. It doesn't matter. Your real surname is Adam because you came from Adam. So, sin brought spiritual death. Spiritual death manifests itself as sometimes, uh, it manifests itself eventually as physical death. But sometimes you see the effects of it. And one of those effects is family problems. I bring up family problems today because really Easter is supposed to be when you apply the blood on the doorposts to save your family. Their mother's crying today. You know, because the younger brother is now taking his late brother's place in the same dice game that killed him. We have mothers crying out today because the younger brother is going down the same path that killed the older brother. We have mothers crying today because kids are going off the rails. Families, the family unit is breaking down People go for months without talking to their dads. Daughters go for months without talking to their mothers. Brothers can go for years without talking to each other. You have people that um, were married, but they hate the marriage. family problems. These family problems started in the Garden of Eden when sin came into the family unit. 
that's when family problems began. If you want to know the origin of any family problem, it's Satan. Because when God met man and put him in the garden of Eden, the family unit was perfect. When God put the first family in the garden of Eden, that family was perfect. It was through the deception of Satan and how sin came into Adam and your family was still in Adam when sin came into Adam. Your family was still in Adam when death came into Adam. The Bible tells us that God used to come in the cool of the day to have conversations, to just have a chat with Adam. This particular day God comes into the Garden of Eden, Adam is nowhere to be found. So God starts calling, like God is calling you today. God starts calling. God says, Adam, Adam, where are you? He's put out the call. Adam is in hiding. 